Okay, I'm doing a little experimenting with my machine. Um, I did this one. Uh, I cut the flower out. I had my um, embroidery hoop on. I had my feed dogs down. And I actually just free freestyled this around this flower on this piece of knit. Um, there's a guy on YouTube that freestyles his embroidery and it's just beautiful but you really do have to have a steady hand I don't know if you can see that close or not but um, my stitches were too far apart here and here I made them way too tight um, and it just um, I mean it looks okay but it's not um, the best that I could have done and then I went and I tried to um, uh, embroider um, here this iPod on here and it got out of whack and then I hit a snag and that one didn't work. And then I tried this in the regular embroidery hoop and I just followed along this just scrap piece of fabric and it gave me like a puffy look and I thought well wouldn't that be cute on the front of a blouse. So I cut myself out another iPod and um, I'm going to try it again only this time I'm going to use the actual uh, embroidery hoop that came with the machine. Um, on the other times I was using the little, um, uh, I was using, oh, where, where did I put it? It's that little metal one with, um, yeah, okay, right here, right here, right here I was using this on, on my machine to embroider, uh, to, um, freehand uh, embroider uh, applique and it uh, uh, that's where my fabric jammed on me so I'm going to use my big hoop and see if I have better luck on this iPod I'm just using scrap fabric it's not um, a, a big deal what I'm using it's just pieces of um, scrap okay so I cut another piece of this pink and I'm going to try it again only this time instead of the embroidery um, um, a foot. I'm going to use my regular foot and I'm actually going to use um, the uh, feed dogs. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on and I'm going to stretch it out a little bit. I'm not going to use any stabilizer. I haven't used any stabilizer yet. Um, I am using the um, I am using the um, polyester 60 weight thread that came with the um, embroidery bobbins. Okay, so let's uh, get this evenly stretched on here. So we're stretching the knit a little bit like I did on this one so that when we do finish sewing this on, if we can keep it on in a straight line, it'll come out puffy. So let's tighten this up a little bit. Before I also did um, on this one, which is probably what caused me problems. But it's better than losing your um, design. So um, I put a little bit of this. Um, let's see what's an iPod. This goes like this, this way. This is the right side up. So I'm going to um, see if I can embroider that. I applique that with a zigzag right through there. I still have a little bit of a, a stretch here. So let's see if I can pull this over a little bit. So we can get a puff going when we're done. Okay, that might be good. iPod this way. Which one is it? The instructions? This goes on the bottom. This is the top, right? Yeah, I think so. I'll tell you how modern I am. I don't have one of these fancy iPods. Okay, so um, I think that's right. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, a little dab of Elmer's glue, the purple stuff, and I'm going to just go right down the middle of this. And the reason why I'm going to do that is so that I can keep it in the right location on the um, fabric. I'm not going to I'm not going to sew over it. I'm just going to position it. Do I want it up and down or sideways? I think I'll do sideways. That looks better. Here's this one with the heart. It looks better up and down or sideways. I'll go, how about this way? I'll go this way. Oh, decisions, decisions. I'll do it just a little bit on the side. Okay, so let's see. That's where we placed it on here. Can you see that? 
Okay, so I'm just going to do a regular zigzag on here, and hopefully, I don't know, I didn't put any, I didn't put any glue on this one, and it made a nice puff. Now with the glue, I'm not sure what's going to happen, so it's all an experiment anyway. So same with the root flowers. You can just experiment with anything you want. That would be cute um, uh, with the applique around here with the black thread. That would look really cute with the pink and the black. Okay, so um, I've got them. Um, we're ready to go. I've got my slide ruler on, but I'm not using it, so I don't really need it. But um, we'll go ahead and um, put our hoop on. We're just using our regular sewing machine, I mean a regular um, uh, foot here. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to start on this side. I'm going to follow that. I'm using my foot that has a line in the middle. So I'll be able to um, just stay along the line of that design on that iPod. And I'll be able to keep myself straight. Okay, so here we go. We're just going to start sewing. Make sure my fabric isn't puffing around on me, moving around on me. You know, you might want to, um, so it doesn't shift on you, you might want to just go around, all the way around with a straight stitch and then come around and do the, you know, that's a good idea. Since this is just practice, let's cut. Let's go to a straight stitch. Um, it might just do the trick. Let's go to the center stitch. Center, that's center length. We'll put a long length on here. Okay, let's cut the thread didn't cut. All right, so I don't know why I didn't think of this before. So well, let's just do it now. So that we will be able to guarantee that our pattern doesn't shift on us when we go around to do the applique on it. sewing on the fabric. I think I am. Okay, the pattern is shifting a little bit. Fun. Some of the things you can do. Don't even know you can do them until you try. Okay, so we've just sewn around that. Now we're going to go back to the zigzag, and that should hold it in place. You would think it would, so we'll see if it does or not. Okay, let me get that tight back again. This may be a complete failure, but. It may not be. We shall see. So let's um, go back to where we were. We'll go back. I guess we'll start right here. Back where we were on our zigzag. So we're going to go back where we were. Here. And I know I was somewhere around point three or point four. I think I was point three and I think I was three zero. Or was I less? 3 zero? Well, there's one way to find out. I was 3 zero. Nope, I was 2 zero. 2 five. Nope, I was 3 zero. We'll just stay there. If not, we'll just go over that last one we did. Okay, so now we're just going to finish up.
I went off a little bit on the other side. I can see it already. I was off of the mark. Oh well, I'm going to go back and pick it up again. That's what I mean, you really have to be right on top of this. Yep, I missed that whole one side. Okay, darn. All right, well, let's go ahead and just go pick it up again. Can't hurt. I'll just have an extra white side. It'll just look a little wacko. But this is just practice, so what are you going to do? that so badly. Okay, well let's see what it looks like. Maybe I could have done a better job outside of the hoop, but we'll see. look. Yeah, I'm going to, have to go and make a couple stitches in there, get it straight. Okay, so now we have got a iPod with a little puff to it. Yeah, I really did mess that up. Oh well, we'll try, try again. And not too bad, really. When you look at it, it didn't come out too bad. We'll see what it looks like in a blouse when we're done with it. All right, well, that's it for now. I'm just going to um, call it quits for the day. But that's just an example of some of the things you can do. I'm going to go ahead and freelance some... Um, yeah, too bad, right there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and freelance some uh, earplugs on here and see what I can do on that. Okay, so I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one.